Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. As the Klaus over here, ready to bring you another match from the EGC TV Elite Classic. Make sure to check them live on Twitch at weekends and check me live on Twitch every single day using the links in the description down below. And this is the fourth match on a best of five set between 3DB playing on the color green as the Rus and Louis MT playing as the English in the color pink. And the map is High View. And if you want to see or if you want to know the score of this set, you have to go and look on the YouTube channel over here and see the other matches. I will not spoil this for you. All right. This is a very interesting matchup that I don't see very often, which is Rus against English. I think Rus early on has the advantage. They have the Knights. They can build up archers faster than what English do but like late castle age early imperial I think English also does better okay the thing is Rus can have cheaper um siege on the on, on imperial and they have strategy but most times longbows with uh, incendiary arrows and the network of citadel attack speed bonus just delete everything right that the Rus can offer so I think the Rus player B in this case should be looking or will be looking for like a high pressure tempo because if you go for a second TC I think English can pretty much just go for their second TC then edge up with the third TC or just fast castle into a second TC neutralizing your eco lead you know what I'm saying uh, actually in this tournament on the matches that I'm casting I've not seen a lot of white tower from the English players I've seen a lot Pretty much every time King's Palace, actually. So, three scouts opening for B, only one for Louis. So, not really caring about killing the deer. But I think he killed those two deer packs. I think because Roost player, what they do is they go two scouts to kill the deer and then they dedicate one scout to kill the wolves. Which I think it's a good idea, as you can see. Because those wolves actually do give good bounty. But already, aging up from Louis MT and I think that's the thing if you open with a two scout you're kind of delaying your 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 um, your feudal age right and you don't want that as the English and it's a second TC English player going for the stone here okay guys wait a little bit All right, we must, we can move on. And it's the bro in this wait. Ah, it's, I thought he was dropping the Kremlin like here. No, it's here. And in this tournament, I never seen the Golden Gate as well. It's always the Kremlin. So, great moves from the devs, from the developers when they buff this landmark. It, it worked wonders. Because the Golden Gate still is an STL landmark, right? And I think that at the moment, Rus are the only civilization that has two STL landmarks on their feudal ledger. But... There is so much that you can do with the Kremlin that you can't do with the Golden Gate. Spawn Militia, getting the wood bonus, getting a defensive landmark, uh, basically getting fixed control of a certain part of the map. And the Golden Gate is just a market. Or it's just a better market. And that's it. The only thing it does is it's exchange resources. Like, that's very good, but it only does one thing, right? While the Kremlin does so many things. And I think that that's, it's not like one is better than the other. It's just one does more things than the other. And because this is a game where you have different scenarios. The landmark that can cover more scenarios ends up being more used or better used. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the packs, the, it was a nice spawn. Not too weird. 
Sacred Sites always fair on high view and relics as well. Three in the middle, one in the back for each player. Council Hall is finished. Now it's time to gather some wood and then go for that second TC. One hour. It's going to be a second TC for the Woods player as well. I like that. And the thing is, like, you have three scouts, you open with three scouts, what do you do with them after? I mean, you can, like, have a lot of vision, I know. But wouldn't it be, like, wise to go for professional scouts? Back in the day, people would do that. They would open with, like, four scouts as the rules. And then, with those same four scouts, they would go for professional scouts. You know. Second TC will be on the gold for our... Rus player, the second DC for the English player will be on the gold and deer, that will boost a lot his economy. Maybe the Rus player wants to go for another TC. You can just go here real quick. Oh, usually these TCs are very easy to destroy because English they benefit a lot from that main TC shooting more, and they are like super isolated here. It's actually easy to destroy that. Villagers moving for the board. That's eight villagers. That's a boar pool. Pull it. Oh no, it's just... Hey, bro. <laughs> they tricked me. They just went for the deer, man. What you talking about? It tricked me. Yeah, it did. Let's go, let's go. Another feudal age where n nothing is really happening. No no military at all. Bro, not even military buildings. Right? The only military building we have is the council hall here. It's also seven minutes. TCs were dropped. Now we're going to see the true match starting, right? <laughs> and there is a, there was so much people doing second TCs on this tournament so far. I think it's really the meta is a more economical approach because it allows you to uh, commit mistakes or come back way easier. If you are if you are one TC, there is many strategies that feel like an all in. Where if you are second TCs, most of those strategies are not all ins anymore, and I think that's all about that to give yourself a more breathing room, to give yourself a safe uh, net, a safety net, right? But yeah, not much happening here, guys. Just hold on a little bit. Skip five seconds on the video or something. Now we're going for the board. Okay. 3DB pulling the board with one wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, bro. This, like, this looks like a World of Warcraft classic hardcore dungeon bad pool. Scout comes into the party. Board goes down. And B gains 75 gold. More bounty and 2,000 food. Bro, only realized the second TC does not have the thing that you choose on it. It should, right? The secondary TC should have the thing that you choose for your main DC. But it doesn't. Just as the default bell or whatever. Yeah, here as well. Here as well. Ah, uh, I only noticed that now. That's actually very funny. And these wheels are going for the deer? I think so. Both players going for a fast castle. Bro, I really like... It's okay, but I don't like this. I don't like... There is basically no feudal age. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this. I don't like to watch it. And I don't like to play it like this. You know? Because I just casted a match between those two players as well. And they did the same. No feudal. They went second TC. Both players went second TC. No military at all. And just fast castle. You know what I'm saying? And like... 
for the viewer that's awful look we are 10 minutes in there was nothing worth casting basically there was nothing worth watching as well so in my opinion the developers need to intervene and make feudal age more like you have to pass through feudal age you have to build some units attack or something you, you know because we just had 10 minutes that weren't worth your time so if you are here thank you very much though you know and i don't like to watch or play these type of games you know but hey it is what it is High Trade House for the Rus player and the 30C for the English player. Bro, English is like too easy, man. They have st very strong economy, very cheap military, free TC or two landmarks that produce 100% faster, super crazy keep that has huge range. And you, you, have to, you, you have to use wood to repair it, not even stone. Right, like what the fuck? Your units are always better because they attack faster if they are under the TC or an outpost, right? So it's like, bro, what else? What extra power you wanna give to the English, bro? Okay, villagers under threat. B killed one villager from Louis. Oh, nobody picking relics, by the way. Crossbow's coming out, but now being killed by the knight. His relic is walled in. Not yet. Not yet. We have one the monk coming in. Yes, we do. Oh, but B also lost two vills here for this single knight. Right, some night raids, bro. Be killed nine villagers. I didn't realize that, but great work from B. B has been very strong with the raids in this tournament. I've seen that. Okay, B grabs the first relic. Okay, ready. No, he's not. What is the warrior monk? Look at that. Oh, it's already banked. Never mind. So be looking to grab more relics. Perhaps this one? Yep. Yeah. He wants to grab that one. Bro, I really feel like warrior monks are underrated. I think people don't use warrior monks as much as, as they should. Like, they give great boost to your army, bro. Just, you know. English player going for a ton of gold, but is it enough? I don't think so, because <clears throat> you need to produce a lot of crossbows over here. Oh, militia get called. Here they go. Here they go. Where are they going? Where are they going? To under that TC. Crossbows are on the place, but that's not enough. That's not good for the militia. Here they go, and this brought so many of them. Sixteen militia. Let's go. More relics being captured by B. I love that. Under the TC. There is villagers there unprotected. Let's go. Let's go, militia. Can you... No. No more villagers can, getting killed. But they are killing military. Villagers running away. Trying to shoot. Oh, oh. Trying to come back to the TC. But... I think one vill will go down there. Yes. Two villas actually go down. Great work by... Bro, Louis has 3 TCs, but he's the same villagers as B. Great work from B. Maintaining that villager lead. 
equal. Yeah, bro, this is very tough for Louis, I guess. First, he only has the Council Hall and one stable, right? So, there is not much he can do to produce more units. Second, his enemy has four relics, one sacred site, and basically better villagers when it comes to gather wood and food. And uh, basically you are playing English, you want to drag this to the late game, but you are being constantly pressured. It feels good though, to see English suffer like this, right? Great work by B, not allowing English to slowly drag the game to Imperial. Nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody has time for that, bro. Ain't nobody has, ain't nobody, ain't nobody has time for that. Knights will burn through this wall. Archers hitting the field. They will take care of those crossbows. No problem, bruh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, going in. Bye, crossbows. Bye bye. Villagers bringing. Building, I mean. A wooden fortress there. Can the crossbows. Just crossbows. Just crossbows here for Louis. That feels tough. Like. The, 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 even though they have network of castles, it's not fast enough that they shoot, right? A lot of these crossbows will go down. Bro, great work from B, honestly. Great work. He's playing this game really, really well. Uh, Louis is on, th on the back ropes, right? Can't do much. Now adding in some many arms. I mean, two many arms to be precise. Sacred victory approaching for B? Wait, no, this. Uh, I think that was black lagging. That was uh, out of date, right? Yeah, huge pressure. Yeah, Louis can't do much. He, he, he doesn't have the food. He doesn't have... He, he has a lot of barracks now, but... It's too late. I think this is a game. I think this is a game for B. Right here, right now. We are camping the production. Maybe that DC will kill the knights? But you have the warrior monks here providing some healing and some buff. Another warrior monk comes in. More militia comes in. This is all idle. These guys are all idle. That is all idle. This will be all idle. Basically, the only food source is this. For... Oh! Why not going for the boar? Bro, go, no, stop making farms go the, for the boar. That's what you need right now. Oh, Rams coming in! I like that. I like that Siege Workshop right there. Pumping out some Rams and GG gets called. The English are defeated by a great Castle Age pressure from the Rus player. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, watch more videos here on the channel and catch me live on Twitch. As a Drake Cloud Surfer, surfing out!